Hey, Jason McCann here from Mountain Tactical Company and we're trying something new. I've never done a, uh, a solo video where someone wasn't manning the camera, but we've had tons of requests for um, for us to keep up on video and I've done a really bad job of that. So I figured I'd just grab the camera, see how this turns out. Uh, we've had a lot of requests of uh, to have more manufacturing style videos to actually see stuff being made. So uh, we have a unique situation today and have to make a one-off part so I figured I'd uh, be a great opportunity to kind of show you uh, what we're doing so come over here by the machines and uh, we've just made a, a few hundred uh, bottom metal over here and the next step is to make the mag catch uh, the mag catch fixture went with our uh, 5c rotary table and that's off at Haas being repaired right now um, some of you guys who've been following us know that uh, one of our machines just had a major meltdown in the software, destroyed a lot of stuff. Haas had to come out here, literally take it apart, rebuild it. And the rotary table is the last piece we're waiting on. Well, we have all this bottom metal. Obviously, you guys want it uh, in your hands. So we're going to make an adapter. Uh, I went out and bought a 5C just standalone. Um, call it and we're going to adapt it put make an adapter plate to go on um this new rotary uh, that we have let's see if we can get that in the camera there we go uh this new rotary that we have so obviously this doesn't match up let me grab this there's there's no way um to attach this so we have to create an intermediary plate so uh, i figured i'd show you guys uh how i'm going to do this we can get these mag catches made and uh, get this bottom metal out and in your guys' hands. So, welcome to the journey. All right, so everything we design, we first have to design virtually. We have to, uh, we use SolidWorks uh, here at the shop and uh, we design a 3D model. We're able to do a significant amount of our engineering stress test, uh, everything actually inside the software, which is really cool. But the, uh, uh, then we have to, uh, once we've kind of debugged it as much as we can, uh, we get down and we machine it. And I had made a part uh, like this before because I had to, um, to make our rails, I have a trunnion table uh, to tilt the table, um, the machine table at the 20 MOAs to make our 20 MOA rails. And so I had to make a adapter uh, plate that has keyways here uh, it has a, a round boss that goes into the bore um, of the rotary to hold um, true. And I just took this design and adapted it for this uh, 5C adapter. And so we have uh, counter bores uh, back here. Uh, so we're going to have screws that go through the back uh, to the front uh, to screw into that adapter. And then on the other side, there's two grooves on the uh, the back of that 5C uh, adapter plate. And so uh, we're gonna hold concentricity uh, using that. So we have, we're gonna cut this groove here. The next challenge is, is how do we get it on and off uh, the bigger rotary table? And so we we'll have to cut these reliefs uh, so we can have the bolts come through to the keyway where there'll be T-nuts um, holding that uh, to the rotary. Um, but because the 5C would cover those screw holes, uh, I need to be able to get in here with a wrench. And so um, cut a nice wide groove so I can actually get in there and turn the wrench. And so <clears throat> we'll see, like this is a one-off part, never, uh, never made it before and uh, hopefully it works. So um, let's get down to the machine and, and uh, go cut some metal. Alright, so we're back downstairs. I saw the model upstairs. We're gonna make the plate. Goes on the back of the 5C. And we're gonna make it out of this chunk of 6061 right here. So, just this is what we use to make a lot of our fixtures. We have it lying around the shop. So, it, this is gonna become an intermediary surface for our rotary over here on the other machine. So, let's get to machining. All right, so we have our metal in the vise. Um, before we do anything, I go through my tool list and I touch them off before every single um, 
new run. I want to make sure, you know, things change, things break. It allows you to inspect your tools before you actually go into the job and uh, make sure everything's just dialed and perfect. Uh, this is a great roughing tool. It's an indexable uh, one-inch end mill. I got it from Curtis over at the tool source, and we hog some serious metal with this thing. It has through spindle coolant capability. Um, and quite honestly, I don't run it as uh, hard as it could be run, uh, simply because uh, there's really no need to. I mean, as you'll see here shortly, it removes a lot of material really fast. You know, no sense, um, no sense going, uh, you know, to the limit, potentially breaking an insert and uh, ruining a part. So that, that costs you a lot of time. So it's measuring the outside diameter because as you cut, the cutting surface wears down. And so this measures everything within uh, a ten thousandth of an inch uh, just to make sure everything's just dead and that's perfect. So uh, we're going to go in, we're going to touch off every tool, uh, make sure everything's dialed, and uh, be right back with you. So what we're doing is we're getting this as centered as possible uh, on the workpiece and then we're going to let the probe dial this thing in for us. So we're going to drain our uh, X dimensions, which is 6.5 inches. Our uh, Y dimension is 6 inches on the nose. Uh, we're going to go down from where we're at currently, 3 quarters of an inch. And we'll go from there. Nice, now we're centered on our stock. Uh, we're just gonna go touch off our uh, Z axis. Which we're sitting roughly 250 thousandths off uh, the part. Excellent. So now we have our part zero. Move the probe out of the way before we uh, damage it. There we go. Let's see what we can do. All right, so it looks like we're probably gonna skim our uh, soft jaws. That's okay, the soft jaws are just kind of disposable. That's what they're there for. Um, but uh, we're making a really thick uh, part. We're using a lot of this material. 
I, was, I kind of went into it expecting that. So let's see uh, what happens when we go. I'm going to start out uh, slow on the rapids just to make sure our, uh, um, all our depths are correct and then um, speed it up once. Um, I know everything's touching off where it's supposed to. Upstairs, figure out why that didn't get uh, done. Other than that, it looks like it's dead nuts. We'll uh, um, try it on the fixture, see how it turned out, but uh, I will be right back. Okay, back down here. So, yeah, for whatever reason, that uh, finishing pass for this surface uh, didn't make it on the, uh, the last coat, so we're just gonna run that and should be good to go. We'll measure it, make sure it's good, and then flip it over to the other side. This is a very versatile tool. You can run it uh, fast and hard, remove a lot of material really fast. Um, I'd have to look up what the uh, cubic inches per minute uh, that we were running earlier was, but uh, I want to say it's somewhere um, around 75 to 80. Uh, just removes a lot of material really fast. But then you can come back around, um, take more of a uh, finishing style uh, pass, slow it down, and it'll use a really, really nice uh, surface. It doesn't do good on. Uh, 
sidewalls, but it does really well um, on finishing floors. good on the calipers let's uh or on the mics let's uh throw it on the other rotary and just make sure it fits all right well i'm not sure how to film this exactly without covering up what i'm doing but um here's what we made in that first operation great surface finish and then we have a spindle bore here and that's what this boss is going to go into and then we have these little dogs here then the second operation we're going to drill holes uh, through these there's little T-nuts uh, that go in here, bolts come through here, uh, and it'll lock this all together. But what we want is we want this to go up against this base with absolutely zero play. So. You can see that once that locks in, nothing. Perfect. That's the exact fit. Um, that we want, so I'd say it's safe to say we can machine the other side of this. Let's go back over to that DM. All right, so I had a part flipped over in our vise. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to grab this upper corner and we're gonna take the hat off. And the hat off is that's all the material that we use to hold um, the part in the first operation. So we are going to Come down here, grab this corner, face this off, make sure we have the, uh, the correct thickness on the part. This will take a few passes, probably speed the video up uh, through this, is kind of boring stuff, but uh, just what we gotta do. design flats on this instead of going perfectly round was simply so I could just use a standard set of soft jaws. It saved me the time of uh, making a set of round soft jaws and it gives me a great uh, indicating point uh, to go off of here. So there's, <clears throat> as I say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Uh, it's not a critical dimension. There's no mating surface there. So uh, I just went, went with it. Excellent. I'm pull up our program, touch off our tools, we'll be good to go. Alright, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna slow the rapids down, make sure we're in the right spot.
want no play. That is just dead nuts. So, um, we know the other side is concentric to the bore on our rotary. Uh, this ring is concentric to the bore on this adapter, and this ring is concentric to the bore on the other side. So, we'll get it uh, all put together here, and if we put our cards right, we'll be good to go. All right, well, here we go. We got it all installed, had to do a design modification, made a separate part, um, but at the end, it's pretty much the same thing. But we now have an adapter plate from our HRC 160 uh, to the 5C uh, adapter, so we'll be able to get those mag catches going. Uh, I dialed it in. We have roughly one and a half thousandths uh, run out along the face here. So, anyways, for what we're we're doing, and once we get that fixture uh, in there, I'll be able to uh, adjust that and. Uh, get that going. So anyways guys, a little different type of video today. Let me know if you like it. If you like seeing the kind of the little nitty gritty kind of stuff, the, the detailed stuff that we do on a day in day out basis, uh, let me know. I'll shoot more of these videos. Um, and then just as far as, you know, product reviews and introductions and how to videos, I'll definitely do a better job uh, of doing those as well. So anyways, I got some mag catches to make so we can get these uh, bottom metal done. You guys have a great one. See you next time.